Welcome to the Heart House in Southern New Jersey. You are watching Dr. Stephen Levy, an electrophysiologist at our practice, performing a cardiac catheter ablation procedure for atrial fibrillation, also known as AFib. Over 5 million Americans suffer from AFib, the most common heart arrhythmia or irregular heartbeat in the U.S. Most cases of AFib begin as occasional or paroxysmal. However, many patients progress to persistent AFib within one year. In its early stages, patients are often encouraged to change their lifestyle in the form of improved diet and more frequent exercise. If these lifestyle changes fail to show progress, anti-arrhythmic medication may be considered. For many AFib patients who have not seen satisfactory relief from lifestyle change or medication, a cardiac catheter ablation may be appropriate. We perform these ablations to minimize stroke and heart failure risk, both of which are five times higher in patients with AFib than those that do not have the condition. The risk of cardiovascular mortality in AFib patients is also doubled. So how does the ablation work? During the procedure, a catheter, a long, thin tube, is inserted through a vein in the groin and threaded up to the left atrium of the heart. The catheter is guided using advanced continuous x-ray or fluoroscopy to monitor its precise location in real time. At this point, the catheter system's advanced software maps the structures of the heart and its electrical impulses in three dimensions and in real time to determine the location of the arrhythmia. We then deploy targeted heat using precise radio frequency waves to isolate the pulmonary veins and stop the source of arrhythmia. Of course, as with any procedure, there are some risks of a catheter ablation, which will be discussed during consultation with your electrophysiologist. Most patients will leave the hospital on the day of surgery, with very few needing an overnight stay. Most are back to normal activity within three to five days. Cardiac catheter ablations are not only very safe, but exceptionally effective and minimally invasive. Best of all, ablations are curative and long-lasting, unlike medication which only works as long as it's taken. We encourage you to contact us and schedule a consultation with an electrophysiologist at one of our several convenient South Jersey locations should you wish to consider catheter ablation for your AFib.